Velocity based training is huge. As soon as I got here to Boston, I knew Perch was on my radar. I wanted something here in this room to enhance our players in that development because we understood that quality of care was very important to us. Sports science has taken off in the past decade, so now we have the ability to use technology in our training to really give us the objective numbers, right? So the subjective coach is saying, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm seeing, but I just can't pinpoint it. And so now I have technology to back up what my eye is seeing and really give the player an understanding of where they're at and what they can do and where we want to take them. My name is Jacob Rothman. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Perch. I went to MIT in 2012 to 2016. I was a varsity athlete there, um, studied mechanical engineering, and then just fell in love with, with building, right? Building really cool, unique things, and also fell in love with sports. And around 2015, 2016, which is when we first conceived of the idea, the quantified self-movement was taking off. So essentially, being able to use wearables to track your heart rate, your steps, your calories, but really nothing was geared towards people that, that like to lift. When you go to a track, let's say, and you run around a track, like you can count how many laps you did but you don't really know the quality of that run. Like if you didn't have a stopwatch, for instance, you wouldn't know if you were getting any better, if you were getting any faster. And that's very equivalent to, let's say, going to a weight room without a piece of technology like Perch. You can count your reps, you can count your sets, but you don't know if you're improving, getting better. You don't know how you compare against somebody else. For each movement, we have our own criteria. We can track them over time from semester to semester and the length of the player's career. So this is our main product that we lease to our clients. What our secret sauce is, is basically using computer vision and machine learning to track specific objects. So coaches will essentially take this product, they'll strap it up to their weight rack, up out of the way, essentially gives uh, the weight rack a set of eyes and a brain. Um, athletes will walk up, they'll log in via tablet that's Bluetooth connected to this guy, and then that's basically everything. They're good to go. If you're old school and you're, you're kind of resistive to it, uh, I think you're a little bit behind. Now this is just a way, if you really want to maximize what you're doing from a programming perspective, it's a no-brainer. We capture about um, a dozen different metrics currently. The main ones that a coach might see or want the athletes to see would be velocity and power output. So an athlete walks up, they lift like they normally do, we're able to effort effortlessly capture their sets, their reps, their power output, their speed, about a dozen different metrics. We display that in real time, which can motivate a workout, educate a workout, and then we give that data to the athlete and the coach so they can monitor the progress and understand how they're improving. And for these athletes, right, from pro to college to high school, time in the gym is extremely valuable. When we talk to strength coaches, that's the number one thing. They want a piece of technology that doesn't distract from the workout, it just optimizes workouts. The biggest thing is that we have to understand that these guys are student athletes, right? So they got, they have academics, they have tutors, they have appointments coming up, you have practice, you gotta go get treatment, you gotta go see our nutritionist, you gotta go to training table, you got all these things to do. And so all of a sudden, when your window of time shrinks with them, you wanna maximize it and you wanna be extremely efficient with it. Using a system like this allows us to give that direct feedback, and allows us to get what both parties need to show progress. Our clientele includes a lot of the, the high profile like college football teams. So University of Georgia, Oregon, and UNC, Duke, uh, Florida, Maryland, the list goes on and on. The ability to compete, yeah, we're gonna compete. You're gonna push yourself to new limits, new standards. It's really a powerful weapon.